could please? Nelson Fiscal Court will go into cl closed session per KRS 61810-1B for discussions on future acquisition or sale of real property when only when publicity would likely affect the value of a specific piece of property. We will do that to tell in of our regular business meeting. First order of regular business would be the minutes from the February 4th meeting. You guys had a chance to review those? I, did, I do have a little note here. Let me see what my note says. I did it so early. Um, County Engineer Lee Manningly. Mm. <laughs> uh, he got a promotion, Lee. 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 Uh, assistant Engineer. Just <laughs> assistant. Probably not all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with an increase in hours and decrease in pay. Right? <laughs> uh, just a correction, if you don't mind, please. Anybody else have any corrections or changes? No, no. Entertain the motion to approve the minutes as presented. I'll make it motion. Motion by Keith. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Eric. Further discussion? All approved, say aye. Aye. Disapproved? The motion will carry. Next would be your bills list, an additional bills list. Any questions? I'll, let me just uh, start off by saying I've got a, a purchase order lease requested. Uh, a line item in our budget for uh, a corrugated metal pipe. We have spent almost to date every penny within that line item, basically because we were got some additional blacktop money from the state and fixed a lot of our roads, our pipes. And we've gone over our budget limit on that line item. So I would ask this court to include in your list approval $11,000, uh, $11,007 for some additional pipe that we need and we'll move up out of reserves to cover that cost. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so I want to add that to your bills list or your approval as well. What's the amount again? Eleven thousand seven dollars and sixty-four cents. Was it just various sizes? Various sizes for stock. So for the what, what we try to do is get it in stock now, so that when we come out of bulky item, we get right on those roads to get them replaced. Yeah. Or made almost and, and, and we did, did so much of it last year; it's already exceeded our a lot of amount. So we just move it to transfer. Any other questions on bills or transfers? <coughs> I will note that the, the, the University of Kentucky Transportation uh, Road Scholar Program Pesticide Training, there's what, the five guys went to that? Lee? Yes. Yeah, five guys were trained on that. Pesticide or herbicide? Pesticide. Well, that would be that. It'll be the herbicide. 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 But it's, 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 it's under the same program. It's on the same yeah. program. Okay. Yeah. Either yeah. that or Rodney put the wrong language up. <laughs> She's back in the back. It's probably 20, what, 25 horses? I think it was on that invoice. It's nine horses each one. So 18 of those, and then there's some various other. Fiber training and again the pesticide training. Have we got enough pesticide spray? We're working on that. Get We've done the path for upgrading a little bit. I remember. Did you go over there? there? I have not been to the pesticide. And, and it's director sharp. I, I did go to the roadside vegetation. Yeah, that's uh, another thing. Training and yes, this week. Is the training you went to, Jeff? Yeah, was, yeah. Know the stuff. All of the structure been real good in classes. Yeah. <laughs> I obtain a motion to approve the bills and transfer. I come with a motion for the bills. And the additional 11,000. Yes, sir. Uh, motion by Eric, your second. Second. By Jeff. Further discussion? All approved, say aye. Uh -huh. Disapprove? The motion will carry. Uh, on, the, on the next order of business appointments, uh, the appointment uh, that I had listed uh, uh, declined to serve, so I've got to go back to the well and find someone else. Uh, is in uh, District 2 commission. Um, Jet I and mean, uh, Gary, you got some ideas? I've got some ideas. And we'll work on it. Okay. Uh, road department report Bush Hall bids. Number one. Bush Hall bids, bids came in. Lawson Tractor was a parent little bidder. I think everybody's got a copy of that. Media yes. Media has got a copy in their box. Or yeah. should have. Uh, Lawson Tractors was $13,535 each. And we're, we're asking for two. I'm sorry. I think Magistrate 
Shelburne has something. Okay, uh, the, these two bush hogs, I did a little research on the one that's listed here at Lawson and the one that's listed at Big Three is, is uh, the, the, the difference. Uh, big, big Threes came in at 14.3 uh -huh. on the bush hog 28.10 R4. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but does not one of the one of those have deck rings and the other one does not? They're required to have. We say deck rings. I'm going to need deck rings. Uh, it's that piece of steel underneath of the bush hog. There's a there's a stump jumper. No, well, no. I guess you, it, it's it's a it's a ring that goes around that uh, the the blade, and it keeps it from wallowing out the top of it and knocking holes in it and and. Yeah, where your, your blade is, Brad, like here, you've got like a six inch around that. Yeah, to keep it from hitting that blade. And, and so you're it, saying that uh, Lawson did not have that on his bit? That's Put it this way, they met my spec. Now, if Big Three may have put something on that I didn't know about, I have no clue. As far as I knew about it. So I can do that research to see. Yeah, and, and, the, and the double row chains, I think, too. Double row chains, they got. They could, they do. So both yes, those units have double row chains. Yes, sir. No, it's not a stump no. jumper. It sounds like to me you're talking about a reinforced. No, it's, it's a place that's not a, it underneath the uh, underneath the around the blade yeah, around the blade. So yeah. when you get into something, that blade don't bust up yeah. and hit into that. Yeah. It's it costs also, more to have those on there than it does not. To yeah. Have also, it helps from throwing that stuff out too. Yes. Through no, the chain. Well, not the chain. I mean, they, it goes to the chain. Lawson's got double chains. They certified here. What we requested as far as to help throwing stuff to, out onto the road was we reversed the rotation of the blades. So instead of it thrown towards the road, mm -hmm. it actually throws towards the ditch on the center box. That's the only thing I'd ask for differently. Now again, I don't know, they may have put something in there that I didn't know about. Well, if you look at the two, the two model numbers are different, right? Uh, if, you, if you look into the two different models, one of them has deck rings and one of them doesn't, and it's pretty significant on how much difference of cost that is. And it would probably put it right in line. So why did he bid that when we didn't ask for it? I don't know about yeah. that. I can't say about yeah. that, but it is a different, different unit. Mm -hmm. And of you course, you know, it? You know, I've always been in the position that if we're pretty close and we got somebody locally in Nelson County that can provide us a piece of equipment who also services it here in Nelson County, that, you know, if it's not a big discrepancy, you should probably go with uh, an injection. If it's a better product, yes, but if it's, if it's uh, $1,600 difference on two machines. Well, if you take that the deck rings off, you might negate about $800 of that. Yeah, but, that, but he should not have bid that. See what I'm saying? Well, um, perhaps, but if he was to bid the same piece of equipment and he's right in line with them, wouldn't it make more sense? Why didn't he bid the same piece of equipment? I can't tell. I don't know that. Yeah. We, we've been through this before. Yeah. Uh, but we can, I'll have Brad examine it. We'll bring it back to the next quarter. Sure. No, no fire has to be put out uh -huh. on buying these machines. Yeah, no, well, no. I mean, I just, you I know, wish I'd known that ahead of time we could have checked it out. Yeah, yeah and, and I, I just looked into this yesterday, well, you know, after I got, no I kind of got investigating a little bit, and, you know, there is a, there is a difference in them two units. I have to agree with Eric. If it's a local company and there's not that much difference in the pricing, you know, I'd much rather go with the local company. So why bid them then? Why, why? Just, do I just get well, We can do that. Well, I mean, it's $30,000. Yeah. yeah, but you see the interest you have on this? This is just not this bid. It's everything you do. Yeah. Everything else. Well, but yeah, I mean, we're elected by the people in Nelson County. You know, I mean, why take our money out of the county and buy something? I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it. So, so part, part of what's confusing on their bid then, is that, and again, I'll, I'll do the research. No problem. Same cycle. Their sales quote says it's an RR, but what brochure they added says it was a CD. So there's a confusion on my part of well, I know his quote says. Or, or, so it gives me a brochure for a CD. Well, let's just say, let's so say, I'll do the research. You, you, you can do the research on it, but if, if, if you got a, and it wouldn't matter if it was Big Three or, or Joe Hill or, or Nelson County Implement, if they're three or four hundred dollars, uh, maybe a, more than somebody that's out of county who would be willing to serve your, service your stuff here. We buy 90% of our parts from Big Three. Well, I know, but I'm just going to let you know that, you know, it, 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 the parts ain't the same as an injection of, of, of a piece of equipment, you know. 
that's just my thoughts on it. And yeah. I've always said that. And, you know. and, and there are laws that say that we can uh, have a, 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 what's called a home rule when you bid. If somebody's 5% higher, you can buy it from local. We do not have that ordinance. It doesn't mean we still can't do it, but it just reinforces. So, are you saying it's against the... No, 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 but you can justify it if he's got additional equipment. But you right. didn't bid additional equipment, so it wouldn't be fair to the other bidders. Mm -hmm. I've been through this too many times. And they'll throw a curveball on you in their bid process, knowing that they're probably going to get beat by a few dollars. And not just big three, it could be the other people. Right? It could be anybody. Right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, uh, it becomes a game. And and uh, you don't know if you're everybody's if you, if we have to bid this why did it, why did you bid the other well, without well, without a asterisk that says this is an extra this is cost extra you can get it or with or without it that's usually what people do to us right Brad they'll put a little asterisk at the bottom and say this is not like this is time. above your spec and this is eight hundred dollars more you know just to let you know it was that not specified not? did they they didn't specify that. Yeah, I didn't see it. It's in the total bid, 1430. Now, he may have a breakdown of it. But but once you investigate that, Brad, we'll bring it back to the court meeting. Okay. Good point. No, 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 I mean, that's always been my position. I'll, I'll just appreciate you letting me know. Isn't it that if, you, if it's over $20,000, you have to bid it out? Uh, 30000 now. 30000 yeah. That law changed, and our, our administrative code quotes the statute. <coughs> so we, we can legally go up to 30000 But you want to be competitive, guys. People will get you'll get this bid and you'll get they'll get relaxed next time you bid something and all of a sudden you know it's another ten percent mm -hmm. and, and we've seen that before locally. Well, Brad, our old bush hogs are eleven years old. We got them in two thousand eleven, so they're nine years old. They'll be nine years this year. But let me tell you, those bush hogs take a beat. Mm -hmm. At ten thousand, those two sides and ten thousand two fifty. Yeah. And we bought them from Lawson's, correct? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, honestly, if you're going to buy a bush hog, you probably ought to have those as much as hard as it is on them to cut them right away. You should probably have spec, probably should spec it with deck rings, no matter who you go with. I mean, yeah. it does nothing but protect equipment, really. Have you had any problem with what Eric's talking about on the ones? I don't have to talk to Steve about that. I don't know. I probably want to just go back and see if the existing ones have. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I took the old spec, freshed it up, and sent it that. Yeah. So it should have been what we did last time. Not say the ones we got didn't have. I just have to check and see. Well, it's like you said, too. You said the 2018 CD, you got the picture of it from them, but then the wording is the RR4. All right. So, so it's got to be confirmed. I'll, I'll be, I can only say, if I were spending my money, and and I try to spend the county's money like it is my money, Correct. $800 is a big deal. Well, now, $100 is on. different, $200 is different. $800 is a big deal. Eight hundred well, I mean, times two. That's true, but I can tell you where I'd be back. I, I agree with with your own personal money, but yeah. when you're injecting money that's going right back into your tax base, it's I a little bit different. Yeah, but you know, that's just the way. But I that becomes it. a privilege then. Well, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's why the, the ordinance. There is an ordinance. I'll give you copies of that. Oh no, no, I understand. Uh, but you can do the, what's called five percent uh, rule. If you don't take some outside bids, then get what those guys won't bid. Yeah, yeah. you'll well, never come bid on it. Then all of a sudden it goes from a. Eight hundred dollar increase to a sixteen hundred dollar increase per unit. So how how does that relate to state contract? This is not a state contract bid. Right. Yeah, right, this, right. This was just a. But all bid. state contract bids are the same. Is that correct? All yeah, the state bids on every piece of equipment uh, once a year. Like such as like I'm, I'm just learning. I'm trying to learn here. So like the sheriff's department's vehicles, they're state contracting vehicles, right? Yeah. They're all doesn't matter what. Well, the board see the every David deal is a little different. Bushhawk may have given incentives back to these people. You know, to the dealers. Yeah. Through the state price contract, we don't know that. Well, what they're like American Tire. Our tires and American Tire are all state price contract. Mm -hmm. But he they're a lot cheaper than when I looked at them just right. the other day, and they're about half price. The tires, the yeah. tires. Yeah. I saw that. I yeah. saw. I, I saw that. Yeah. So they use the state allows these big dealers to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's different than just having a, a traditional bid. Then say if you buy something, I can buy it on state prices contract without it. Right. 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 Yeah. And, and a lot of counties do that. that. Well, that would kind of eliminate that. You know. Yeah. Uh, the controversy and, and possibly if you would say price contract <coughs> on this with bush hogs there may be some dealer in 
Richmond or somewhere that might have a two hundred fifty dollars cheaper. Well, it's true, but let's say let's say you bought one in Richmond. How are you going to ask a guy that works and pays? It's got a business right here in Nelson County. No matter who it is, to service that piece of equipment when you're not going to want to run it all the way back to Richmond. They're going to charge, <laughs> <laughs> charge you for it. Bush up. They're going to charge you for it. Hey, no. Yeah, but if it's under warranty, we ain't going to have our guys work. What kind of warranty you get on these things, Brad? One year. Most of the time. Good point. Just, just throwing it out there. No problem. Bulky item pickup. Start. Yes, we'll be starting bulky item pickup uh, this coming Monday, February 24th. Uh, phase one area starts uh, or covers east of Global Road and east of Loretta Road. First ever year. Part of District One as well. No excuse not well, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> he gets part of it. I'm sorry. He gets part of Eric's. Oh, you should have missed a Yeah, you three tried to it up. When we first came, we did try that. Yeah, yeah he, he, he knows, knows the, 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 the downfall of that. They're in Hired Town. It could be up. Up you know, that corner of Nat Rogers Road. We have snow, so I'm going to continue to try out. all the years I'm in. I'm going to continue to try to get it rotated. <clears throat> and as I'm always, down. if we you don't have time to get yours out, you're more than welcome to take it to the landfill. The landfill is open for the last business. four weeks. It's been open. For the last four weeks. And so far, since it's been open, we brought in 55.5 tons so far, wow. which is pretty good. Pretty so good. we'll see how that helps yeah. out. I tell Maybe. everybody that. I said, if you're going to load it up, I'm you want to bring it. Oh, yeah, Lord, bring it out to the thing. Yeah. Why are you going to do all that work and have it out in front of your house and let everybody People bring us to it? Take it on over. Yeah. And, you know, and you so know, I think it was a good idea. Yeah, it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that helps out the tail end that we don't want to do And not, not only that, it stops that truck from stopping. I live down a hill and up a hill. If that truck's sitting down, the dangers mm -hmm. of having mm -hmm. a wreck, mm -hmm. you know, so Cause that's why it, it's a like safety factor. Yeah. Yeah. Is beyond it all, I think. So okay. appreciate y'all doing it. Rest your report there, Lee. Okay. Uh, we uh, had to send guys out on Friday, February 7th for a minor snow event. We used approximately 20 tons of salt on that uh, that day. Uh, the, w the winter's been good for our salt supply. We've had two minor events. Uh, first event, we used two tons of salt. And again, for, uh, last Friday we used, or February 7th, we used 20 tons. So we used 22 tons. Did uh, you use that all in District 2? <laughs> 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 District 2 had a few <laughs> slick spots. <laughs> <laughs> District 2 appreciates your hard work. <laughs> so does uh, <laughs> But Keiko, they have the reverse auction in April. <clears throat> for so, salt. So you have to kind of play a game about how much uh, salt that you think that you'll use and it's <coughs> hard to do in April for the next coming winter. Uh, so, so we ordered a thousand tons of salt last year through the Keiko reverse auction. In the terms of that auction you have to buy at least 70 percent and I think you can buy up to a maximum of 130 percent of the order. Uh, so we've already purchased 500 tons of the 700 ton minimum. And our salt barn is, it looks like it's going to hold it off. So we'll be in real good shape come next. And, and the point of saying that is we may not order very a lot of salt next year, but we've got about uh, 2,000, 2,500 tons there, maybe 3,000. And if we get it all, we'll be knocking on the door 3,000. 3,000 tons. Every event we'll use about, a uh, big event we'll use 200 to 300 tons of salt, yeah. roughly. So I know you got about 10 events we'll have. We'll measure it when we get ready to do the auction. Uh, typically, now, we ordered 1,000 this year, 1,200 last year, in previous years. So uh, the salt market is going to just paying off. It's really helped mm -hmm. us to be able, now we got to start managing it because up until this year, if we ordered 1,000, we could take whatever we wanted. And they would sell off the rest of it. So the problem is somewhere along the line, they got got taken there he holding a bunch of salt and couldn't get rid of it. Then had to dump it to somebody. Mm. Probably going to be the case this year. Yeah. You know, we went two years, we went to almost two years and saved enough money to be able to buy dump truck, two dump trucks. I don't know much about the storage of the salt. Is there a certain period of time you have to use that in? 
not no. no. It's been in the ground, the ground for a long time. <laughs> I know about me. So, the the elements hit yeah. The yeah. issue is it's yeah. covered. It's yeah. covered. So the, you know it's going to get some in it. would be fine. Yeah. You know, at least, at least my the worst issue we have is the, the form of a little crust over over the top. But with that piece of equipment, you, you can, can just back it. drag it like yeah. you would at the rock quarry right. when the ground when the rock freezes. freezes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's hope we don't have to use any more this winter. Oh yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, give it a golf course. We need to get time. green. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say this though, uh, our worst snow events typically have come in late February, early March because a lot of times we'll have a little ice mixed in with it. <laughs> And, and so I, I wouldn't be too jumpy yet, but it sounds good though, Gary. It does. <laughs> what else you got, Lee? Uh, basically, uh, due to the rainy weather that we've had, we've had several days where I'm just having guys open, opening up smash culverts and cleaning out pipes, uh, any problems that they see, or patching potholes in all the districts. Uh, we were able to uh, repair a shoulder and ditch line near the 6,000 block of Plum Run Road. Uh, we received several complaints. Uh, basically, there's a feed lot right next to the road, and that lot is filling in our ditch and uh, caused a few concerns there. So we was able to get out there and take care of that problem. Uh, last Friday, we repaired uh, the chip sill section of Sanders Lane. Uh, received uh, a complaint out there, and we took care of that the next day. Uh, and then we uh, also cleaned out a ditch line and replaced the driveway pipe near the uh, 300 to 400 block of Weistown Road. Yeah. He sent that to me and yeah. I was able to get the guys out there. And the cold was stopped up, buddy. Yeah, it was stopped up and uh, so what we did there, they shouldn't have any more problems with water coming out on the road. There, so. Thank you. Yeah. So I need you guys to start giving me your, this is a great time for me when we enter book item, start giving me your road list that you think. You want me to look at it here? Uh, it's just a good time for me. Don't worry, we're making it. You're already talking right. That's okay. Start keeping it from there. There's other districts besides five. Uh, it's but it's a good time for me to ride and look at it. So uh, one, I, I remind you that the state will be here um, March 4th, I think, the first meeting of March uh, with the Real Estate Day program. Okay, uh, landfill solid waste report. Uh, finish up the admin application. I have Brad spot checking a few things, trying to get this thing submitted in by the end of the week or early next week. Just I brought it in to see, show you all how much detail and how much paperwork it is to get this landfill designed. So uh, as soon as I get that thing submitted, start working on the technical application. I'll get that going. Wow, a lot of paperwork. Yeah. Uh, jail report. As of this morning, we had 134 inmates in jail, uh, 43 are state, 88 county, 62 wait for circuit court cases, 26 wait for district court cases, total of 106 males, and total of 25 females. Thank you. Questions? Yeah. EMS report, Joe? A uh, couple items on my report. Um, we have the January report calls made, 575. Uh, 12 of those calls are non-transport. And for the fiscal year, it puts us at 4,066 calls in seven months. Also, uh, put in your mailbox and ask me to get some quotes on engine repair for the 2015 Ford, F, Ford F350. Um, I went out to three different, well, actually four uh, different uh, shops to get bids on that. I went back and talked to Terry Hobbs at American Tire and explained to him that they had done some work on this truck back in October and maybe could he do a little better, and he did. He dropped $1,540 off his labor cost. So, uh, <coughs> Explain to me the last quote you had. <clears throat> we went Mark Head out of uh, Head Automotive in New Haven, asked him to give us a quote to basically labor and part, and his quote came back for labor only plus part. So uh, I don't know how you know what that cost would be. Yeah, yeah. You know what that cost would be? Uh, question. This is 2015. <coughs> How much is that vehicle worth when it's running? 
But well, we paid uh, in 2016 when we bought the vehicle new. We paid 135,000 for it. And it's got 188,000 miles on it. It's our only four-wheel drive at this point. Uh, so it, it has quite a bit of value to us. It's got another 150,000 miles in it. Yeah. yeah, easy. Easy. Well, John, um, when, you, when you go looking at these ambulances, you know, like you went and just purchased the one, how many four-wheel drives do you see? In not many. many. Okay. Usually on four-wheel drives, what I look at is where they come from, and you'll find that the frames are rusted out pretty well and got a lot of undercarriage. Came from a salt area yeah. somewhere. Up north, yeah. Is this American Tower Jasper? Yes. Oh, the other thing that you guys have asked is to get a, a crate engine complete. Neither Ford knows nor Jasper offers that engine complete. So that's a long block. Long block. Wonder how it comes. Uh, Jasper says it. So this is a rebuilt engine. This is a long block. Re it took a long block rebuilt the rebuilt. parts on it. Just the just the block part. Yeah. He has to take all the parts off our motor. Alternator, everything. I didn't see if you had to buy everything. If you had to buy the whole shebang. Well, the bid that I put on here was night from uh, on site fleet services, Sellersburg did itemize out every part due and it was nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, uh, looks like we need to make an award on this, and this vehicle is very valuable. Motion. I, I promise you, in my 27 years as judge, we've used this thing on ice and snow, and, and especially going back to Melody Lake, we didn't have a four-wheel drive when we had uh, all that ice back in 1994. It was a nightmare. It was. I make a motion. To approve American Tire. To American Tire for 1202. Second by Bernard Ice. Further discussion? <clears throat> All approved, say aye. Aye. Yeah. Disapprove. Motion will carry. Thanks, Joe. Do we have some information on rule? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, in your mail, and in, in, uh, media in your mail, there is going to be a statewide EMS listening tour March the 3rd at Mount Kentucky Helms State Park. They're having these in about eight or ten area, areas around the state. Uh, the, it's from 1.30 to 3.30. What is it? Is it a conference call? No, they're actually they going to be, be here. here. They're going to be here. Okay, here. okay. and for you magistrates, I've requested this morning to the Department of Local Government <laughs> for them to try to get you training accredited for that. Appreciate that. And I'll let you know if I get that or not. Way it helps. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. Okay, what else we got here? Recreation, Bryce. Uh, boys basketball starts the tournament this weekend, uh, so it's 60 something teams, so three week long process. Uh, then we'll be done with that, and the park slowly starting to fill up with uh, the soccer players, so it's, we're getting closer to the ground. In Springfield, we're going to get out there and start doing some stuff, and yeah, it's too muddy almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah each, each warm day you get, like, you know, for this past Saturday, I think it was just pretty bad. Yeah. So, it's good to get there. Thank you. Uh, other business, uh, Feed America program this month will be next, a week from Wednesday, February 26. Um, but the Highway 150, we got notified uh, yesterday by letter, and it was in the newspaper Sunday that the Highway 150 meeting uh, will be March 17th from 4.30 to 7.30 at the Parkway Baptist Church. You guys have a copy of that in your mail as well. Uh, Legislative issues. I've made a little note here on some um, important issues that could help us a little bit, a little relief on publication of ordinances. Uh, Standard's not going to like this, uh, Dennis. <laughs> um, that uh, they, they're going to cut maybe uh, one of the necessary publications. Down, uh, currently, you're required to publish it mm -hmm. two times, and we're going to get that down to one. I think that's got a chance of passing. But especially since the sponsors uh, and co-sponsors and people supporting it are one of them's a former county judge and and uh, Rothenberger is that name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, from uh, Shelby, Shelby County. County. Yeah. Uh, the other one is uh, a, a big deal. It's 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 dealing with the 
the retirement for quasi-governmental entities in particular, the mm -hmm. health department. Mm -hmm. You know, while the health department is not under, not under our payroll, not under our, our retirement, they're under the state retirement. And they're predicting that that, uh, that uh, retirement will go to in the 80 to 110 percent of payroll. And that will bankrupt some of the Eastern Kentucky Health Departments and others. Our Lincoln Trail District Health is, could probably last a few years like that. But somewhere along the line, you would have to increase local taxes to pay for a state function. Mm. And the judges are not real happy about that. Mm. So just keep your eye on that. That's, uh, that is House Bill 129 and 171. They're two different areas there, and that's being that could be pushed down to us. That may require us one day to infuse some more money into. The, <clears throat> there's six of us in our health district, and so, and uh, that could be a, a real negative impact to local communities. You know, we pay what? We pay about eight hundred thousand dollars a year to, to the district based on the state. Uh, requirements of uh, one point. Now we do two cents per hundred dollars of assessed value. It's more than that. eight hundred thousand. No, it's about eight hundred. Round about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hundred each time. It's about two hundred each time. One hundred ninety-seven yeah. or something yeah. like that. This looks like a lot of zeros when you see it. On the <laughs> You're right. Uh, and I do serve on that board. I'm very active in the board, on the board, the district board, and. and uh, the girls do a tremendous job. The district itself has gone from, and I'm going to off, 230 employees down to 105 in the last seven or eight years. Just do attrition. When people retire, we just didn't replace them because we knew all this was coming down the pipe. And, and it's kept us above water, our head above water at our district level. And the girls over there, mostly girls, there's some guys, they do a tremendous job and, and supporting our local health needs. Um, those are, I just want to bring it to your attention. Those are the ones that kind of caught my eye. Of course, we're talking about consolidating uh, elections and may eliminate one election for say it was a little bit of money. Um, uh, they're talking about the, uh, something the coroner's probably not going to like would be to collect, secure, and provide for the disposal of prescription medications of a, somebody's deceased. I'm not so sure that uh, they're going to like that. That may not pass. I don't know. There are a lot of interesting bills being floating around. You guys get the copies from J.C. Young and get what's going on. But those ones caught my eye. Um, that is all I have on my list, guys. You guys have anything you want to talk about? Uh, at this time, I entertain a motion to go out of regular session and the closed session per KRS 61810. 1B. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. If, if we could... Uh, my suggestion would be to uh, put to the table for our sheriff's office for the pay raise of the deputies. We've been talking about this for almost eight months, mm -hmm. and I would like to uh, put that next fiscal court meeting. Uh, we've gone pretty much city of Barstown is going to go by July 1st over five dollars over what the sheriff's office is making. Um, what I've sent to the judge is a three three dollar uh, pay raise over the next three years, uh, two dollar this year, and I would be glad to take it affected it next pay period, or uh, uh, and then skip a year and a dollar the following year. Um, so we presented numbers to the uh, personnel committee, and I would like for your physical court. Uh, yes, sir. No, 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 well, no, official. Yes. Okay. I'll put that on you. I'll give you the details of that. Yeah. Uh, Bernard and Eric. Yeah. And you can, we, you've been just pretty well knowledge. He sent everybody an email over, yes, over the if you last care, year. Or send, send that again because that's been a while back since we had that brought up in personnel committee. I'd like to see. I'll, I'll get you what I have. Which one would you guys like? Well, if we, go to, if we go to a pay scale, it's not going to. We, we can't compete with what Barstown is doing. Right. Right? I get that. Right. Um, I believe that in the near future, our insurance is going to get better and it's going to benefit the deputies with what I'm asking for in the next three years, which is the end of my first term. Uh, it, it's a $3, $2 effectively uh, ASAP and then a skip next year and the following year a dollar. Um, the two dollars right now, if we go effective March, it's going to be roughly about twenty-seven thousand dollars, 
and you add another uh, 34 percent on on the retirement it's going to be less than fifty thousand dollars give or take it's about fifty thousand dollars for every dollar if i don't have my firm. numbers in front of me it's about fifty for each but, dollar you escalate so, up uh, give or take that's what we're asking for for this year and then in the budget we can put it in for the next next year uh, to go on on the two dollar i heard you say 34 cents on retirement it's 34 percent it's 40 38 39 right now and it's one above 40. one above 40. 40. i figured 40 because it was an average at the time when i did figure okay. it and, and that's basically again it's fifty thousand dollars hundred thousand one fifty and and uh, <coughs> Need to talk about. And, and and what I'm asking, I know that the city's got other ways of bringing revenue, and they can do whatever they are doing. Uh, and I get that, but in perspective, they're covering 7.5 miles of, of the city of Morristown, and we're covering uh, 424. Uh, we answer calls 24/7. Uh, there's coverage. I, I've even added one more person to the rotation on the shifts without cost to, to to the county. It's just the way the schedule was manipulated to add one more body. Um, Eric, you said that you would give me another person. That's another $100,000. I'll take that $100,000 and put it into the salary of the guys, and I know I can do the job with what I got. Pick it up. Anything else, guys? And now I'll go back to this. Closed session KRS 61810-1B were discussions on future acquisition or sale of real property, but only when the publicity would likely affect the value of a specific piece of property. Uh, at that point, entertain a motion to go out of closed session, I mean regular session into closed session. Motion by Bernard Ice, second by Jeff. All approved, say aye. Aye. Disapproved. The motion will carry. Yeah. Um, this time, was well, Jeanette. Okay. Are you ready, Jeanette? Yeah. Um, this time, I entertain a motion to go out of closed session and back into regular session. Motion by Bernard Ice, second by Jeff. All approved. Say aye. Uh, disapproved. The motion will carry. Um, an item on that uh, we we talked about some other property in closed session a few minutes ago, but there's a piece of property we want to talk about, and I think it's uh, justifiable only in open session, Jim. I'm trying to follow the letter of the law the best I can. Um, uh, you know, when you read the statute, it says uh, discussion of future acquisition or sale of real property only when the publicity might affect it. Uh, and, and I can't, I could probably convince myself long enough that publicity might affect this, but I couldn't convince Matthew of it. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Uh, and that is the amphitheater property. We talked about this about a year or so ago. Uh, maybe a year and a half ago now about uh, the desire maybe to get uh, that property into the county's hands uh, somewhere along the line uh, of course that was with an administration that uh, was looking to get rid of property the state has taken some criticism for doing so about other parks that two or three of the other parks have really been criticized I'm not so sure that option is still open with the new administration uh, but I, I, it's my theory, at least for a while, to keep it, that property in the state's hands, just continue with our 14 year, we got 14 years left on our lease. Mm -hmm. And that way we may become, continue to be uh, eligible for more state grants. If it's in their properties, they do bond issues, they're more likely to help us with those needs versus if it's in our hands, like it's your baby now, boys. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying, yeah. mm -hmm. the psychology there. Mm -hmm. Was there any danger? Do you remember that, Jim, I was talking about? Selling it to somebody else? I don't know. No, we got a 14 year lease on it. Please tell me, bro. I'm not interested in acquiring any more property than we absolutely have. I, I gathered that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it like it is. Yeah, I think we leave it like that. I just wanted some guidance on it. Some, yeah, you know, everybody kind of know about it. And you can't say I you know, we didn't discuss it. Uh, but I think at least for the next four years, it's in good hands that you're not going to do anything to, to harm us. Yeah, lock, lock and change. Yeah. 14 years. A lot can change in 14 years. That's exactly I agree. right. Certainly. But we'll continue to, to, to work with the state. The uh, uh, Department of Tourism has been good. Even the previous administration. Uh, 
the uh, deputy secretary, uh, uh, oh, what's uh, Stivers? Robert. Uh, Robert's wife, uh, Secretary Stivers, the deputy secretary. She was great to work with. The attorneys that we work with were great to work with. They got all new people now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Mike Manchin now with, you know, mm -hmm. as commissioner, and that should be a plus for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and I met the secretary yesterday, uh, and uh, he seemed very positive. Kind of bent his ear a little bit. Uh, so let's, let's, we'll just leave where he is right now unless somebody's got a desire to do otherwise. I agree. At this time, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Well, you got a little bashful there, didn't you? <laughs> I'll second. Second bashful. Gary, I'll approve. Say aye. Uh -huh. Disapprove. And motion will carry. Thank you. <laughs>